The Reds take on the Mets at 7 o'clock in Flushing, Queens. Welcome to the show. My name is Brock Page, and I do random sports picks for fun. The Reds opened up as the Moneyline underdogs at plus 110. The total also opened at an even nine runs. Since then, we've seen most of the early money pour in on Cincinnati. The Reds are now the money line favorites at a buck 20, with the total moving downward to eight and a half runs. Currently, New York gets the one and a half on the run line, and at the moment, 56% of the action is back on the New York Mets. If you're liking New York in this one, get those bets in as soon as you can, because it looks like you're going to lose that money line equity if you wait a little too long. Now, tonight's probables, we got Tyler Mail for the Reds. They're winless in their two games where Tyler makes a start on the bump. Meanwhile, the Mets have Matt Harvey taking the mound for first pitch. Although the Mets have struggled all year round, they're 2-1 and one in their last three, and they're also winning 54% of their games against teams under 500. They're going up against a Cincinnati team who's winning just 36% of their games on the road this year. All told, the case for the underdog Mets can certainly be made in this one, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. Give me the New York Mets on the run line and the money line. And when it comes to the scoring, 10 out of the Mets' last 12 games have gone over the posted total. Meanwhile, both teams' games are collectively averaging 11 total combined runs in their last four, respectively. With all that in mind, I'm going to take the over 8.5 in this one as well. I'm predicting a final score of 6-5 to five New York Mets at home. Next and final game I have for you, it is going to be St. Louis at the San Diego Padres. This Cardinal squad opened up as the money line favorites at $1.45 with the total at 8.5 runs. Since the betting opened up, the early money came pouring in on the Padres to get it done at home. The St. Louis team is now laying just a buck thirty as the money line favorites, with the total moving upward to an even nine runs. Currently, the Padres get the run and a half at home, and at the moment, 71% of the betting public has their money on the visiting Cardinals. With that in mind, expect those money line odds to get a little bit worse for you. If you're liking St. Louis in this one, I wouldn't pussyfoot around. Lock up those wagers. Anywho, tonight's probables are Lance Lynn for the Cards, Clayton Richard for the Padres, and speaking of the Padres, they're winning just 39% of their games where Clayton Richard makes the start. And along with losing their last three straight to this very St. Louis team, the Padres are facing a Cardinals ball club who's 6-1 and one in their last seven. The case can certainly be made for St. Louis in this one. And that's exactly what I'm going to do as well. Give me the cards getting the job done on the money line in the run line. And when it comes to the scoring, we haven't seen a whole lot of it. Two out of this series, three games have gone under the closing number. Meanwhile, games one, two, and three of this very series are averaging just six total combined runs per contest. With all that in mind, I'm going against the betting public in this one. Give me the under nine runs for this matchup. I'm predicting a final score of 4-3 to three St. Louis. All right, folks, that is going to do it for me. But before I get out of here, I have to remind you that I am not a sports betting expert, nor do I implore you to take any of my picks. A wise man once said, good ain't free, and free ain't good. If for some reason you decide to use the free information on this program, you're utilizing it at your own discretion. Most importantly, if you're betting any of these games, do it safe, do it responsibly, and most important, have fun. For Brock Page Productions, I'm Brock Page, and have yourself a positive day.